नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल एंड एन सी आर टीज ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल वी ब्रिंग यू द लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ वेबिनार इन विच वी टॉक अबाउट आई सी टी टूल्स एंड दीज आई सी टी टूल्स आर हेल्पिंग अस टू क्रिएट द कॉन्टेंट विच इज वेरी इंटरेक्टिव वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड अ वेरी प्रिसाइज मैनर एंड इट विल टेक अ वेरी मिनिमम टाइम फ्रॉम अस सो आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट आर एक्सपर्ट ऑफ टूडेज वेबिनार विद मीन्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग अ टाइम Ms Sonia Wadhwa she is a head of the technology integration in Nirmal Bhartiya School Dwarka uh, Sonia ji namaskar and a very warm welcome in the session Namaste to all the audience it's my pleasure to be here And actually this is our pleasure to host for you because uh, in this uh, during this uh, pandemic uh, she is you know she has trained about 7500 educators and 5000 plus students across India Uh, to leverage digital pedag uh, pedagogies to have enriching and engaging experiences and i'm really sure this uh, session will be very beneficial for all our viewers for all the students for all the teachers those who are connecting with us in this live uh, webinar thank you very much sonia ji for taking out time for this session thank you thank you so much so the topic of the uh, of the uh, of uh, today's webinar is and uh, now i am introduce you uh, webinar topic is creating stories using inkle writer inkle writer is the software right yes okay so we are going to learn how to use inkle writer definitely so in the meantime if you would like to talk uh, to sonia ji for any of your uh, of your question so you can dial us uh, on 8800440559 is the toll free number and our email id is training at the rate of ciet.nic.in So Sonia ji I would request you to please establish the subject as a introduction so that we can understand what we are going to learn in today's uh, webinar Inkle writer Definitely Ram ji thank you for the opportunity first of all NCERT and CIET and uh, I hope this one hour session will be able to give audience a new tool to their uh, the thorough of tools that they are already using and will add some value to their classrooms I would like to uh, bifurcate the topic into two parts. First is creating stories, and second is using Inkle Writer. So basically, it's a wonderful web-based tool. So every tool that we we use can either be a mobile app or a web app or a desktop app. So it's a okay. web app. It is okay. a pl- we can access it using a web URL address, which is inklewriter dot com, and we which we would see the exact URL on the slides ahead. so using this web based application we can create stories now educators and other students and viewers in the room must be wondering we have lot many tools for creating stories what is so new about this tool and how is this tool unique in that sense so this is a tool which can be used if i say in a nutshell by programmers as well as by writers so somebody who is totally from a non computer science domain can also use it and somebody who is a computer science lecturer can also use this tool to teach loops or conditional statements so that's the beauty of this tool okay so uh, without you know uh, waiting further let's take a deep dive into the tool further it's first question that comes to the mind of the users is uh, is it a free tool or not yes. it's absolutely free tool designed to allow anyone to write and make interactive stories it's perfect for writers who want to try making interactive stories and also for st- teachers and students who want to mix computer skills with creative writing skills so this is a platform where many skills can be nurtured or ma- using a single platform so that's the exact url of the platform www.inklewriter.com so viewers can make a note of it from the screen and if you want to try side by side you can open go to a web browser and type this url inklewriter.com and you should be able to reach to the exact platform next on my screen is the kind of skills that we one can practice using inkle writer so decision making creative thinking storytelling questioning algorithm and computational thinking are some of the skills that this single platform allows us to practice while we are working on this platform be it students be it educators or anyone who is using this platform can actually practice and implement multiple skills while they are on this platform now 
what all can be added to a story so we can add actually formatted text images multiple sections in the story we can branch multiple sections of the story we can put various conditions and then titles subtitles many thing can be added now here there is something which is very very unique so there is a difference between a static story and a dynamic or interactive stories if you are new to this terminology a static story means the story that is pre thought of will go in one direction only and there is a fixed flow to the story on the other hand the story can take multiple directions so for example so story come to a point and after that there is a question and based on the answer of that question the story takes two different path so if somebody is giving an answer which is ethically correct the story goes in a positive positive direction and if there is a point where the you know the viewer of the story or the person who is reading the story gives an unethical answer the story takes certain turns and teach uh, the reader a lesson and then come to a point so right. basically that's called branching and that's the uniqueness of this platform so would you like to ask something at this point of time no definitely we'll ask some questions later on when we receive some questions through our youtube uh, live or if we have in between any question because you have already answered our first question it is free or not this is the mandatory uh, question from our viewers they are very you know eagerly would like to know about the software which is very helpful in any manner so they just want to know it so you are yeah. so you have already answered it so it's absolutely free as i said and can be used by multiple subject teachers so I, while i will demonstrate the tool i would show you scenario that don't think that if i am not a english hindi or computer teacher it's of mm -hmm. no use for me mm -hmm. it's basically storytelling is nowadays a skill so yes. anybody can do a storytelling for example a chemistry teacher may end up creating story of metals and non metals she may take children to a planet where there are certain metals with some characteristics and then she can ask them to name those characters based on their characteristics so actually it's up to the imagination of the educators in what all subjects and what all areas they would like to leverage this tool so there is no restriction in terms of subjects the only restriction is our creativity yes and creativity has no bars yeah definitely perfectly fine so now another question that may come up is if i'm creating certain stories so if you create stories on paper pen you write down it in a book now next question can come i am making a story in a soft copy where will it be stored so basically it's a cloud platform once you sign up and become a user of this platform all your creations will be stored in your account so your account is like your bank you have the lock in key its user name and password and all your stories are going to be stored in your account on the cloud now how would make you make your audience to read the story that you have written so i would show you you can generate a share link and using the link you can make other people read your story so when your story would go to other people as a link it will open for them as a web page and then they can interact with your story because it would be an interactive story now moving on about the interface so uh, the interface though i'm going to take you to the live demo but just uh, i want to show you first uh, through the screenshots that you can put a title you can put us uh, by the name of the author who is going to create the story you would have an opening prompt and then from there the story would move to different places and different characters so basically you have a title you have a writer paragraphs options options root as i said based on the choice of option you can go to different paths so there are different routes and then you can merge them and bring to the closing route so that's possible and then next you have sections you can make sections in the story people can see map of the story we can put markers markers means like when you do a story so and say in real life or when when you watch it on the tv you have those sign boards that tells that you know from here to go here so similarly you can have markers and marker conditions in the story and this is how the interface look like if you see the bottom part of the screen now how to use it so there is a video but in i would not prefer to play the video once you get this presentation 
as a repository of the I mean post session you can or the viewers can watch the video but i would prefer to do a live demonstration rather than playing the video okay so i would like to give some subject integration ideas like i was talking about this metal non metal story so basically you would see ncrt has also you know published a manual of technology integration where you see this as a prominent tool so even this chapter as i was talking of metal non metal story so i have created a little story which i will show you and it's recommended that you use this particular tool to create a story around this now the story of monkey and crocodile who has not heard this story there was a monkey which was you know on the side of the lake and then the crocodile asked him about i'm sure you must, we all must have heard of this story about the heart of monkey which crocodile wanted to eat so that kind of stories all interactive stories where there is discussion between the two characters can be created using this platform now the head the facilitators can also use the tool for making interactive lessons and in fact quizzes so quizzing is another major aspect that another other than creating stories people can leverage the platform for creating quizzes and we will see in a while how one can create quizzes so let's have a walk through of the platform if uh, there are any doubts at this stage please put your questions in the uh, you know uh, you youtube you viewers question answer box then we would take it from from there and meanwhile i will open the platform and take you through for a live demonstration live demonstration is very important for all the viewers and those who are connected with us please be with us this session will be very beneficial please stay with us till 5 o'clock so as i said the name of the platform is inkle writer so you have to type www.inklewriter.com and you would come up to this home screen so this is your home screen where you would come up now this is actually i have signed in into my account so right. let me sign out and show you from the very beginning so this okay. is the first this is the first home screen as you go to any new web based platform the there are two opportunities one is you just don't sign in so if you don't want to you are not sure whether you want an account on this platform or not so you can just click on get started button so i am not creating any account but i want to have a feel of the platform so i can click on get started and start to my experiment with this platform but here what happens if you don't make an account and you just go to get started you can create a story but and you can share its link also but that will be for temporary period because you haven't signed in then where it will be stored so you don't have an account so then it is just for demonstration purpose but you can't access to that particular story at a future point of time so it means your work is created you can have a look and feel of it but it will not be saved since you have not created an account so that's first option get started to start without creating an account and if you are new so this is new on many platforms we see sign up option so this sign up is similar to new so if you are new click on sign up or new here and if you already have an account like me so i would go to sign in so suppose i now try creating another account and i say new so this is new and it is asking me it's a new account that i have clicked on so i have to actually you know my, since my account was already on this system so it has come up over here so if you want to sign in into an existing i would go and sign in into my existing account so i am saying sign in and here i go to my previous account the new users can go to new and pick up a gmail account using which you can sign in in order to start so suppose if i want to see my old stories so let us try to understand this dashboard step by step see okay. the red panel where the name which is called title bar and here it says logged in as and then my email id so this is the banner over here and then below it is a flat menu bar which has sign out button to come out new option to create a new story open is to actually get from your old story so if you have created 
many stories on this platform like i have this honesty is the best policy boys responsibility so i can actually open any one of the old stories which i have already created so this is a story which i am sure we all know woodcutter and the x so we have heard when we were you know ma dadi nani se hum sab ne suni hai this story when we were young <laughs> right so we all have this uh, i will demonstrate this how this work and i will also create one in front of you so okay. as i said open is to create your old stories which you have saved on this platform import is to store import a story from another instance so is this is basically if you all have already some story which was created on ink platform or the old version of this software you can import it in json uh, format that's little tricky so let's leave that part because that's for computer people to understand it in json uh, javascript and bring it so just think that this is for not for you as of now then go to tutorial if you want to you know learn something how to use the software on your own pace then you have this option of tutorial so you can just pick up one tutorial and start you can say i just want to pick up a tutorial if you have a quick question so there is an faq document you can click here i want to ask a quick question so okay. this is about the tutorial so tutorial is your topic wise so for example i say i just want to pick up a tutorial so then i say choose a tutorial so when i choose a tutorial i have to be in write mode now see i am in read mode here so i have to be in write mode to make any tutorial work for me so when i say choose a tutorial i have these options so if i want to see how to begin how to put markers how to change the story flow so platform has very very interactive tutorial so which user can see and learn by themselves so this is about the tutorial now suppose so today i am your facilitator so i don't want you to depend on the tutorial you can absolutely depend on me and we can i can be your guide and your tutor for the day so let's not use the tutorial this you can use when you are on your own and you get stuck somewhere so i am going to start a fresh by showing you one of my story first and then creating one for you so let me go to open and open this story called honesty is the best policy and let me open it so here okay. it goes now first just try to have a feel of the interface so feel of the interface is there is an image there is some text then there are some links so on the top is the title and then is the subtitle now i want to read the story as a reader or suppose i have created it and i want to share it with my audience so i click on share and this is play the story in a browser so this is the first link that everyone should copy the other link forget about that that's for javascript and all for computer people the normal teachers or anyone can copy this link and give it to someone whom you want to read your story now suppose i put it here so i got this link from my friend that check my story i paste it on the browser and see now i am a reader so this is a story for me as a reader now here the story goes it says long ago there lived a woodcutter in a small village he was sincere in his work very honest every day he set out into nearby forest to cut trees he brought the woods back into the village and sold them to a merchant and earn his money he earned just about enough for making a living for the day but he was very satisfied with a simple living one day while he was cutting a tree near a river his ex slipped out of his hand and fell into the river now it says the woodcutter could jumped into the river and retrieve the ex himself go to his friend and borrow his ex ab now he has two options so we have the chance to interact with the story either would put up would would jump into the river so suppose if he himself jump into the river now let's see then what happens if he himself jumped into the river it says he jumped into the river but soon realized that the ex would have reached to the bottom and it would be impossible task for him to reach so he came out and then the only option left was to pray to god so there is an option pray to god so you click here it says he only had one ex which was gone into the river he became very worried thinking what will happen tomorrow because he was making his earning on a day to day basis so he prayed in front of god and the god appeared 
and he has got two options three options so it says the goddess put her hand deep into the river and took out a silver x and asked is this your x second the goddess would took out gold x and asked is this and then the uh, last one would be iron x and we all know that the correct answer is this yes now suppose suppose i make a wrong choice and i say that the woodcutter looked at the x and said no because he was an honest person so for you know he stayed honest so okay. when the goddess asked so when if you click on this he stayed honest so it came as goddess was very impressed with his honesty and gave him his iron x other than along with gold and silver and rewarded and the story ends now suppose this is how the reader has read it now suppose i come back and i say rewind the story so when i rewind the story now suppose i take the second action go to his friend and borrow his x now his friend says that i cannot because i also have only one now then he is again praying to god now suppose this time he says that my x is this iron x and he selects the correct option so you see the picture and the graphic and the flow of story changes So when he said yes, then there is this little graphics coming. Says yes, it's mine. Goddess was very impressed. So the final answer of the story is same, but in between the story can take many turns based on the choices of the user. This right. is where conditional the conditions come in place. So when you teach programming, you say that like for example, accept a number, and if the number is divisible by two, di display even number, else display odd number. now this platform a computer teacher can also use a maths teacher can also use and a english teacher is can definitely use to make a language or a interactive story so this was one sample i hope you got some idea how the story will take turn and what is the meaning of the word interactive here because it's right, not right. just a static story which we are reading we are making choices and based on our choices the story is taking turns to left or to right or you know whatever the decision user is making right so let's come back let's come back and see how we would be able to create our own stories like this so there is no rocket science i created this story in 20 minutes and i would okay. also like to create one for you right away and then we would see some more examples so let's start with new i would suggest before you make a story open a paint document a paper take a paper pen either take a paper pen if you are on computer take paint brush software or word pad or write white board of zoom whatever if you are teaching your students you can use the white board app of zoom also share your screen and first ask them to draw a rough map so for example let's say we want hum ek story banate hain and we are asking children that you know what if you are given 1000 rupees what would you do so hum aisa ek interactive story banana chahte hain so our first point is that we would have a question portrait so you are being given so our question is you are being given 1000 rupees so it's like a being or we are saying let's say story ki form mein banate hain raju was uh, going to the market on the way he found he found a 1000 rupee note on the floor rupee note on the road ab hum keh rahe hain ki we want to check that whether the child what are the child's values we are trying to check the values through the story so what he should do we are saying what he should do so this is our prompt you know where the story moves now there are okay. three prompts that can be given so i am making there can be there should be three options that should be given so we are saying option 1 could be he would you know he would give it to the person nearby he would give it to the shopkeeper nearby jiski dukaan hai pass mein he would give it to him and tell that koi puchne aayega then you can return because i have found it here right second option could be he could donate and third option could be he could you know keep it with himself and just walk away so you make up on paper pen i am trying to say you make your plan on paper pen and keep your things ready ab in teen options mein se bachcha jo bhi select karega so option 2 option 3 then you decide if for example it is 1 then we are prompting him how do you know how honest is the shopkeeper right 
so you can have two option i would trust him because he would learn that as a child if i am honest then why can't he be second i would ask my parents so you can you know build a paper sketch so this is just i was trying to give you an idea so don't just directly jump into story making do a drawing board of the story it's always nice because if you make uh, it in front of the students and then go to inkle writer they would learn the design thinking aspect also so now let's come back here so in the interest of time i am not completing the drawing board and i'm directly coming here so my first thing is to give a title of the story so i am saying that a strange day in the life of raju let's say so a strange day in the life of raju so raju is our main character right yes so this story is by so this is anonymous so we can put it teacher can put his or her name and let me write by xyz right so once upon a time we can write you can completely eliminate the starting phrase once upon a time you can write directly from you know one fine morning so it's not necessary it's just a prompt so we can write that one fine morning uh, raju was walking down the street down the way the street to go to his school and on the road he suddenly found he suddenly found or he found uh, a 1000 rupee note so let's say this is our um, what do you think what would he do so this software is very smart and i am very bad at typing fast so it's highlighting my errors that's the beauty you can see that it would prompt you if you make grammatical and spelling errors the software will support you with that so found a 1000 rupee note what do you think raju would do so we want to give three options now so there is an option see this button here add options so you can add options so the first option could be raju would raju pick it up he would pick it up and pick it up and go to the shopkeeper nearby so i would just make little small story so that we all can understand shopkeeper nearby and submit him the same so that if later on somebody comes so is clear so now second option so i am adding one more option here he would keep it in pocket keep it in pocket and move away right the third one is the third option is he would go go to a nearby temple and put it in donation bank so now there are three options right so uh, now you see here it's written loose ends loose ends because it says the three loose ends what do you mean by loose ends it means that we have not connected what should happen after he takes these actions so these are all you know wrong now see there is some artificial intelligence over here which is saying that these two options look similar means these are similar kind of decision and this would keep it in his pocket and move away so this is coming with a green sign so there is little bit of ai also which is relating these two threads are on the same line now we have to create further line of actions so these loose ends should be connected to something so for example if he says this so i am saying follow this and i am coming to the next paragraph and i am marking a marker here so my marker is good deed so for example if he takes the first option he you know uh, good decision so i am tagging this as good decision because i am feeling that if he would actually uh, take this path then it's a good decision so if i am coming raju would pick it up and go to the shopkeeper in submitting so i i'm linking it to this paragraph and saying it's a good decision so i am saying after that what happens if he picks and submits so shopkeeper uh promises him 
that he would definitely definitely pass give it to someone who would come in search of it who would come here in search of it ab iske baad kya karenge like this has happened iske baad what do you want to do so we want to let's say hum thoda sa is chori ka portion bana rahe and after that we want we are saying that let's see so let's see what happened next what happened then so we are just you know closing it with the last prompt just see what ha what happened next and so i can always correct my grammar spelling everything on the uh, you know prompt so if it has to be the shopkeeper the software will prompt me now the second thing this is we have just completed the first link so i come back i rewind the story now see the dots have changed these means loose ends wherever you see dotted lines and wherever it's a solid circle it means you have something to move ahead with this decision now i want to connect with this loose end also it says would keep it in the pocket and move away so i am going to connect it here and here i am writing so i am putting this as marker and i am naming this marker as bad decision because okay. this is a bad decision because the child is keeping it is in his pocket Raju became selfish for a while, and kept the money and flew away from the from there. So this is definitely bad. So he had kept it in his pocket. I have tagged it as bad decision, and after that, I am adding an option so I can. actually you know link it to an existing paragraph also and i can add an option also let's see what happened next so we are saying here what add option so i am saying let's see what happened next what happened next so this is we are going to connect now i have completed the two threads so if if this was the thing i am done this was the thing i am done and now this is the thing he would go to a nearby temple so definitely this is again a good deed so i can write here good decision so i can club it so i can say this is again a good decision so i can you know actually take it all this one also as a good decision and i am writing that he made a wise choice rather than giving the money to wrong hands rather than giving money to wrong hands he had put it in the he has put it in the temple he has given it in the temple let's say like put it like that given it in the temple in donation box so here it's okay and then i am saying that let's uh, add the option again let's see what happened next so we have decided two threads of the story now see once you have developed this much see the map how your story map is going so there is a question which is being put up over here one fine morning raju was there then these are three ads ab after every we have written what see let's see what happened next let's see what happened next but those are loose ends we have not connected it anywhere Let's see what happened. We click करने पर what would happen? Nothing. We haven't decided. So first think in your mind. So that's why I was saying it is very important to make a storyboard. So once the person would click on, let's see what happened next. Where the person should go. So let's say I'm clicking here and making this paragraph, and I'm marking this paragraph as conclusion because I want to conclude. So let's say I'm making a very short story. So I'm saying yes. this is my conclusion. so once the person will do conclusion and could reach here so here i am putting so i am saying that ab now i have to decide if the person has come over here through the good deed path so agar uh, if the person so there is this if clause so insert a condition to test 
so if i'm using if here and it says add condition so if the person has passed the marker good decision and reached over here so if the person has reached over here by you know saying good decision then this message has to come so if the message the message i am writing here is god bless god bless people like raju he got he became a very rich man later in life so this is what i have written i put in a if condition that if he has come so it says only show if good decision now i click over here it says not passed these markers so if he has come to this paragraph using some other path then i want to display something else then i don't want to display this message right so this message would come only if he has come through the good decision path to conclusion so that is here now i come back to this story now i want to connect something so i am saying that if raju would pick up so he would come here and then let's see what happened next per i have connected it and i'm saying join an existing paragraph so i'm exist connecting this god bless paragraph with him now see the connection is established if raju takes the first decision it's a good decision and when he clicks on let's see what happened next he comes to this particular paragraph god blessed him and this is our conclusion so now let's come back here because we wanted this is also a good deal so what i can do i can click here and let's see what happened next i can then connect it to an existing paragraph so i'm saying join an existing paragraph so this is what is this an existing paragraph so my existing paragraph is conclusion so i'm actually linking and it is automatically linked because i had set up the good decision marker now let's come back in case of bad decision so if he would have kept kept it in his pocket we have a loose end here what is that one loose end let's see what happened next so we go here and we say that since he became selfish he became selfish he did not receive the blessings from almighty the blessings from almighty this and, is indeed a interactive and right. interesting way to understand the story and the moral yeah. behind it could not became a successful man in life uh -huh. so suppose uh, i am just you know in the interest of time making very very short story but you can as i said your imagination uh, is the limit from almighty a has to be capital because i am referring to god so i would just change it and then now you see the soft platform has lot many artificial intelligence uh, elements of yes. grammar inclusive and then it also give you suggestion this is the right way of writing right. so now suppose this is my so i am terminating it with as bad conclusion right so i am marking this as bad conclusion so when i am coming here this is uh, i am tagging it as bad conclusion so this one is so this marker i have tagged here as sorry so i want to rename this one as bad conclusion so bad conclusion so i have tagged this one and i come back to this one so this is linked so what happened next it would go now let me check the map if you get confused making linking check the map so first answer and third answer it is coming to this place middle answer which is wrong it is coming to this place so this graphical representation map is telling us how the story is flowing right. now suppose i rewind it and i generated share link and i cop give this to my friends or my teacher to check or my teacher can design and give me as a student i get a link i check it and based on my decision so this is coming uh, suppose i go to first one it says that shopkeeper promises him he would definitely let's see what happened next god bless people like raju so it's a happy happy ending now suppose i take the third decision second decision which was a bad decision it says raju became selfish for a while what see let's see what happened next so since he became selfish he did not receive the blessings and then this kind of this is coming so 
based on the interaction of the child with the story the um, story will take its flow in the different direction so it's not a static story based on the interaction it would take its direction and the flow as i could not add a picture but when you want to start so for example when you were here and you wanted to give a matching picture you have an insert image option either you can insert it says enter the web address so for example i go to the net and i say raju clip art of a boy whatever of a boy so i can you know just get many clip art so for example i see raju somebody like so i have to just select a suitable image so i can simply write clip out of a boy otherwise ye chhota bheem wala raju is coming <laughs> so i can write this kind of raju or whatever i this looks sincere so suppose i want to take this one i can just click on this url because that's the image url i can say copy image link okay i can come back to inkle writer and paste the image link and so once it is done so this link would be used just one minute okay so sulbha ji i think she is uh, watching this session on youtube and sent the same question uh, how we can add picture in the story so sulbha ji here is the answer as yeah. rightly explaining by sonia ji please uh, proceed sonia ji ye aapne already answer de diya hai unke question ka mere yeah. puchne se so, pehle hi so basically you have to select an image and once you select an particular image so if the image is subject to copyright you it's it's a better idea that you go to creative common images so suppose i write creative because you would definitely going to publish you know this uh, story as your own story so it's better to take free images and go to creative common images i am just writing boy and then i am going to images so i am doing a refined search from creative common and then suppose uh, my character i can decide so let me see this boy and i can click over here so this image is from a site i am just going to visit that site and right click on the image and say copy link so copy image link make sure you can take copy image link then okay. come back don't take the link of the page take the link of the image and then you are here for example i am here and then i click on image i paste the path of the image say use and the image would come here right ye bahut hi aasan tarika aur bahut hi zyada interactive banane ke liye sulbha ji i'm sure aap seekh aapne seekh liya hoga ki kaise aapko images add karne hain and one more question we have received during our live session sonia ji can this work with hindi fonts one of our user sent this question so uh, see this platform is being uh, revamped now so my we earlier it was beta version there unicode was working i have frankly not tried uh, putting unicode hindi takes it in the same way uh -huh. so i can try but i don't uh, commit because i haven't tried on this new platform okay no Let's, issues we can see okay right so i'm just try uh, unicode and i would type something in unicode uh, type editor online so maybe और इससे एक बात की और तस्दीक हो जाएगी इस वेबिनार में कि जो हमारे रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस हैं जहां ढेर सारी ऐसी क्षेत्रीय भाषाएं हैं जहां पर हम स्टोरी टेलिंग कर सकते हैं या बना सकते हैं तो वहां पर भी आप ये कोशिश कर सकते हैं यदि ये हिंदी फॉन्ट को ऐसे सपोर्ट करता है तो हम कोशिश करेंगे कि तमाम और भाषाओं में भी जो हमारे साथ तमाम और राज्यों के टीचर जुड़े हुए हैं वो भी इस सॉफ्टवेयर का इस्तेमाल करें और अपनी अपनी भाषाओं में स्टोरी टेलिंग की ये जो विधा है इसको आगे बढ़ाएँ और इंकल राइटर का भरपूर आप इस्तेमाल करें so i am just trying to type okay here i have taken hindi here and in the traditional keyboard so let me take hindi phonetics and i am typing um, here samay rehte suppose do shabd likh kar wahan copy paste karke dekhte hain dekhte hain ji so i am just copying it and then i am coming to inkle writer aaj webinar mein bhi hum jo hai science ki tarah experiment kar rahe hain <laughs> but they instead of uh, giving wrong information ya yeah, aa raha hai hindi mein 
जी बिल्कुल इट्स बेटर टू ट्राई सो यू कैन गेट डू इट यानी कि यानी कि सॉफ्टवेयर जो है जो है मल्टी लैंग्वेजेस सपोर्टेड है तो इसमें yeah. कोई संदेह नहीं है कि इसमें हिंदी काम नहीं करेगी या मराठी या गुजराती या जो हम तमिल की बात करें या तेलुगू की बात करें तो कोई देर इज नो बार फॉर एनी लैंग्वेज आप अपनी भाषा में अपनी कहानी कह सकते हैं और वही सशक्तता का माध्यम होता है और सोनिया जी हम जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं हमारा समय जल्दी से समाप्त होने वाला है तो मैं आपसे गुजारिश करूंगा कि आप अपना सेशन कंप्लीट करें और कुछ यदि क्वेश्चन हमारे पास और आए होंगे तो हम उन्हें भी यहाँ पर शामिल करेंगे सो so डेफिनेटली मैं कुछ चीजें बस री करना चाहती हूँ लाइक वॉट आई सेड इन द बिगिनिंग सो माई दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इज अबाउट वॉट एवर स्टोरीज लाइक एक स्टोरी अभी हमने बनाई है so you come here and see now suppose i now go to a new story and then if i see where does the story go which i just created so the, that was strange day in the life of raju that has come up over here the last story in my repository of stories so see this is story of metal non metal i want to give this idea to other non science teachers similarly bio teachers you as i said imagination is the only uh, restriction here and people are very very creative now suppose this is a story which i have created for chemistry and suppose i share and show you the link how it works so suppose i say control c and i am testing the story so it says that i tried creating certain example from different subjects so it says you were taken to a land where there were metals and non metals so you picked up a metal took it to chemistry lab and passed in you know chlorine gas from it and you saw salt was formed what do you think what was added to the test tube so suppose we know that the uh, formula of you know salt is sodium chloride so this is the right answer so if we go to right answer it says that's correct nacl is correct answer but if suppose the person chooses aluminum so the teacher can take this opportunity to explain the concept alc3 is not a compound and it's not the formula of salt the correct answer is sodium so that's how um, you can you know build stories around multiple subjects now coming back if i show you one more story which i just created and i say open that's one quiz question so you can actually create quizzes here so for example if you have quiz and you open it so here what is the capital of india let's say so if i read go in read mode so as a tester if i want to test my story i can go in read mode also what is the capital of india so suppose i go to lucknow it says incorrect never mind let's move ahead with more questions so next question would come okay. uh, though i have not created more questions uh, i could create for demonstration little bit part of it but we can now if suppose i go to delhi so i say that that's correct let's go to the next question so the you know teacher can actually make quizzes also and using one, this platform. and once we choose wrong option then so suppose you choose wrong option merit so it says merit is incorrect so never mind let's move ahead okay. for more questions right. and the teacher can display the correct answer also that's teacher's choice okay so i think i have now discussed about the platform so this is how your platform look right option is to create read option is to test new is to create new story open is to see your open store old stories share is the magic button to share your creative story that's the important area of the uh you know platform once you are in right mode you have your controls here so if right. you want to make something text bold italic so you can even do formatting by selecting bold or italics and then you have if clause which i told you to how to use it and then your images if you want to do paragraph break you can use this uh, option to combine paragraph or to start a new section okay so we have received one question from akanksha uh, she is asking can they be used as an assessment tool so here uh, i would say that don't mark that assessment this is basically interactive story right. so one time if the child would give wrong answer he would then come back to the uh, again choose the second option and may give correct answer so how would you use it for assessment i would say assess it in a way ask your children to create story so for example if you are a let's say you are a computer teacher and you have done if else with them and you collaborate with english teacher and give them a story writing exercise where they put at least three decision making prompt then it's an assessment for computer as well as an assessment for english because children are creating story and using if else condition also right perfectly fine and also sri uh, sai ramakrishna rao ji has sent a question is it uh, supports telugu so sri uh, uh, 
Ramakrishna ji, we have checked and tested Hindi is acceptable by the software. So may please uh, do it from your end and try to check if Telugu will be acceptable by the software or not. And I'm very sure all the languages will be acceptable as we checked Hindi just uh, you know five minutes ago. Thank you very much for joining with us. And also, I would like to request uh, Sonia ji to share our concluding uh, you know your concluding remarks with us with the students and the uh, viewers of all the you know uh, who has joined us in this uh, live session. We have hardly so four just, minutes for you. Yeah, so I'm just saying that, uh, ma, you know, when information is available at the click of a button, yes. what would set apart our learners is their creativity and design thinking. So creativity, innovation and design thinking are some of the skills which are required for our children to become future ready. And another aspect is we should train them to create quality digital content. So this is a very powerful platform, which not only allows them to create powerful digital content, but also take their design thinking and creativity to the next level. As a teacher, you would experience this when you would create your first story and make a storyboard, you would realize that your imagination will start to go to the next level. Like when I started to use, I became very creative. What if usko yahan se story mein yahan bej de? What if, if the child would select this section? This should come. So also take opportunities to give feedback when you make interactive story in the form of a quiz and the child goes in the wrong direction. You can always give a feedback and raise a question. So questioning skill, decision making skills all are coming in one platform through this little uh, and powerful platform. That's what I would like to say. So create multiple opportunities for exercises like this in your classroom. Perfectly fine and thank you very much for joining with us as I as I want to add here uh, She has a two and a half decade of experience as an academician. Thank you very much Sonia ji You have taken time and you explained this session wonderfully Both easily or mujhe lagta hai ki jitne log hone bhi se dekha hoga They will be benefited uh, you know in such a way ki wo apni khud ki story bahut jald banayenge And the platform is really very interactive. Thank you very much for joining with us for all your time Thank you. My pleasure so this webinar session comes to an end now. Don't go away. Keep watching. We will be right back with the next session of Sahyog. Stay tuned. Namaskar. Thank you, Sonia, ma'am.